Hello again everyone and welcome back. This is part 8 of Let's Play the Xenosaga series and we are currently in the giant gnosis known as the Cathedral Ship and we left off at the save point. Looks like we're good to go. And let's see what awaits us. Okay, a frame repair A. And two skill upgrade A's. And I guess there's no getting around him. I've come this far, I can't lose now. Yeah, I think you could. Okay, this dude is boosting like it's going out of style. Good lord. Alright. Enough of this boosting shit. Give me a break. Oh, cool. I healed the wrong person. Well, this part is off to a rip roar and start. <laughs> okay. Man, that dude has got a hard-on for Kosnos. He is not attacking anyone else except her. Oh my god, he attacked someone else for a change. Amazing. For the love of all that is holy on this planet. Shutting down. I feel like shutting down. Thy 
finally. That took way longer than I expected. The enemies have been exterminated. Praise Jesus. All that nonsense for an ether upgrade. Well, I am actually going to go back out to the save point and use a biosphere and heal everyone up. That was awfully annoying. Also, as an aside, when, before I started recording, I tried loading up my last save file and I can't get the memory card to be recognized by the emulator. So, uh... Fortunately, it seems to be just that memory card. Unfortunately, it has what I would call my master files for episodes 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to be pretty bummed out if that memory card is destroyed. But anyway, we'll address that again later. Alright, that dude's dead. Let's head up the escalator, or the stairs. Looks promising. Cosmos, activate Hilbert effect. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't a wasted turn at all. Okay, everyone's guarding. Unleash some of thy powers. Even though I do love this series, one gripe I do have with this, well, I have a few gripes with the first episode, but one of them in particular is that the, the random battles really can drag on.
I'm gonna be interested to see what the clear time is for this fight. It has to be over five minutes. Tiring. Great. I collected some good data. Okay, so Chaos got level 15, learned Heaven's Wrath. Three cure-alls. Ah, obtained decoder 15. Okay, that's nice. That's for one of the segment addresses. Obtain the flower seed, which off the top of my head I am not sure what it's used for. But let's go into our tick attacks and set this for chaos. Let's see what's in the next room. Are you kidding me? My external appearance is down five percent. Xion, I need to be clean. And Cosmos hits level fourteen. Should probably heal.
Okay, can I go down here? I think I can. But... I'll wait. Let's go this way first. Want to go this way first? I'm not sure. Born lost souls, may you be reborn again anew. Oh, well, that just sucks. Just gave up some extra bonus points. Which I'll get right here, but uh, I wasted a turn to get there. Again. Okay, we got a cure all and five hundred G. You know, I kind of think this is the way we need to go, so I'm going to go back inside. Go back down that elevator first. Now that I think about it, I think this is the way I should have gone originally. Okay, so here I know we've got a bunch of stuff we can destroy. Bios here. I want to say there's a segment address door in here. I am pretty sure. Skill upgrade A. Two tech upgrade A.
Now, I could be wrong, but if I recall correctly, I think the unicorn can bring one of these ogres back to life. Not positive. Yes, I was correct. But I th I'm pretty sure there's a limit as to how many times he will bring an ogre back to life. It's either one or one or two. Dude, it's hard. Wow, this is taking longer than I want. Of course, I didn't exactly use this um, to my advantage very well. The boost and the turn order. Now, why is she on going first? Chaos should have gone first. Ah, you kidding me? My god. I sure know how to drag a fight out. That was tougher than I expected. Me too. Let's see, five skill upgrade A, cure all. Behind one of these blocks is a segment door, I just know it. Yes. Ether pack S, two ether upgrade A. This is segment address number 13. We don't have the decoder yet. Now let's see. Oh, I thought there was something else we could detonate in here, but I guess not.
Oh. Oh, of course that ran out right before I get into the fight. Alright, I'm not wasting time with this. Let's just try and kill him and move on. Oh wow, he brought that back to life again. So Nasuke the limit is two times he can do that. I don't think I've ever seen him do that three times. Okay. I guess I was completely wrong because that is the third time he's done this. The only um, upside, really, to having the unicorn resurrect fallen enemies is I do think you get the extra experience for killing them again. Not positive, but I think you do. That didn't do much. <sighs> that is a sigh of frustration. She on rocking that 19 damage. Okay, I didn't want to use that attack. I seriously need to get good.
Oh good, Chion's dead. Maybe I should have paid more attention to what was going on. I reckon then the person controlling you getting good. All right. To use some ether packs on Momo. Heal Shion and Chaos and Kosnos. I guess Kosnos didn't really need it. 200G. Cure all. Two skill upgrade A. Neg kit next. That'll come in handy. Five hundred G, Neg Kit DX, one hundred G. All right, now we can leave. avoid this guy. Nope. Shoot. For lost souls. May you be reborn again anew. Alright, at least we took care of him. Chaos, it's level 16. Let's see what's this way first. A rejuvenator, what does that do? I'm assuming it, reju assuming it rejuvenates. Okay, so it's essentially like an elixir. Recovers all your HP and EP. Okay.
Okay, level 15 for Xion and Kosnos, and Xion learns Thermal Blast. So let's equip that. Okay, so we've got Shock Blade, Lightning Blast, and Squell Ray. So we don't need Lightning Blast twice. Vicious fire attack. It's not just a fire attack, it is a vicious, savage fire attack. Okay, moving on. Something's coming up here. I don't necessarily think it's a boss fight, it might be a cutscene. But just to be safe, let's heal up. It looks like we've arrived at the center. What is that? A building? Maybe some sort of device? What do you mean? I don't know. It's just... Yes? Well, if this is really the center, it's possible that it may be of some importance to the Gnosis. But this, of course, is from our frame of reference, so we could be completely mistaken. In other words, if that is a man-made object, it could be a ship or some other wreckage that was swallowed just as we were. What about us? Are we gonna end up like that too? Maybe. We'll be sure to get out of here before that happens. Don't be so sure. Cosmos, what's the Elsa's current position? Location unknown. I have lost its signal. Lost? The Gnosis magnetic and gravitational fields have become unstable near the center. The last known coordinates point to a location on the lower level, 300 meters below our present position. That's pretty close. Shall we go? Yes. Let's just hope the Elsa isn't in the same condition as the wreckage around here. to test your loyalty to the organization. Nothing more. The citizens will be affected, whether you succeed or not. Do you regret your decision? No. They're of no consequence to me, nor to our organization, or anyone else. <laughs> well said, Cherenkov. interesting anything over here nope do a save state
Damn, that thing is fucking ugly. Your orders, Xi'an? Just to repeat, those things were fucking ugly. Seriously. I don't know why, but I've always found those enemies disturbing in this game. Or lost souls. May you be reborn again anew. Once we hit the next save point, I think we will go ahead and spend some ether points. I'm pretty sure everyone can learn at least one new ability. Two frame repair A, and a fight. Gilbert effect active. Gnosis materialization complete. Well, that's an interesting foreign nation hit. <clears throat> Excuse me, haven't seen that one yet. Oh, come on. Not even really trying for the bonus points this fight, and I'm actually getting them. Ready? 
Oh, that worked. Yes, please, let's go on. Alright, what do we have? Ether pack max. Useful? Revive. We got a point times four and a point times ten. That's pretty cool. All right, let's heal up again. Save point. Now I have my Xenosaga specific uh, memory card in slot two, but when I try to load that slot, it will not load. I'm really, really disappointed in that. Okay, this room, what do we need to do? Let me think, let me think. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Need to destroy these. Get the elevator working. One there too. Here's what I want. I want to uh, get over here. Get over here. It's more like it. Defect active. Gnosis materialization complete.
My external appearance is down 5%. Xi'an, I need to be clean. as well get rid of all the other enemies here. Target locked on. Commencing combat mode. Yeah. I wanted to say that there's something in one of these little cubicles, but... Ah, magical hat. Sounds like a funny name for a condom. But, uh, what the hell is a magical hat? Where is the magical hat? Prevents lost. Physical defense plus four. Alright, so who could benefit from that? I don't want to get rid of scope. Prevents ether attack down. I think we can get rid of that for now. Yes. I knew there was something hidden somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. I doubt I can coax that enemy all the way back here. Come on. Oh my god. You stubborn little shit.
Kostnos is uh, kind of getting her ass kicked here. I was gonna heal, but I'll just wait until after the fight. If I heal, it's just gonna make this fight that's already dragging drag longer. I think that takes care of everyone in the room. So we can now move on. And... Frame Repair Z to do that. We can go this way. I think there's stairs on the other side too. Let's see where this leads us though. Uh, yes, okay, so now we need to go up the other stairs and destroy the other side. And of course, all of these enemies have returned. Just lovely. I really don't want to have to fight them again, but I'm gonna have to, I think. Please stand down. I don't want meaningless bloodshed. Alright, Xi'an showing some agility here.
Alright, now let's head up this side and destroy the other block. Alright, now we can use this button, I believe, to call the elevator. Or to drop down a ladder. So now let's go back to the other side. This is not tedious at all. Is there any chance I can get around this dude? I wonder. Oh yeah, look at that. Me being all stealthy and slick. Alright, so we get rid of that, get rid of this. And now the elevator works. Let's see what's inside. Ah, another segment address. This is for number nine. All right, so now I'm gonna head back down to the first floor. We are going to save the game after that, and that'll be the end of this part. I'm pretty sure we're at the end of the cathedral ship. But I'm going to cut it a little short. Not cut it short, but I'm gonna stop the episode here. Your orders, Xi'an? Because I believe we have a bunch of cutscenes, and then a boss fight, and then another bunch of cutscenes. So I think that's how we'll start the next part. Okay, and everybody leveled up. Excellent. Alright, now, we're gonna do a couple of things here, little things before we call it quits. First thing we're gonna do is use a Biosphere just to heal up. Second thing we're gonna do is see what Ether skills I can potentially purchase. All right, for Shion we have medical all, medica all, or refresh here, both of which are very useful, or we could get a skill that will. Increase our boost, which is not a bad deal. Or we can get Janning, which will lower dexterity for all mechanical and the enemies. I think for now, though, the best bet is to go with Nanaka All, 
and refresh. So let's set those two so that she actually has the ability to use them in, in the boss fight. And for chaos, ice wings, which is an ice ether attack, or purifying storm, which uh, clears all status changes for the entire group, so we're going to go with that. And there's actually enough points left over to learn Ice Wing, so why not? We'll learn both of those. And now let's check out Cosmos. She can learn Down Force, which is physical attack down for all biological and Gnosis enemies. Or she could learn Down Ether, which lowers Ether for all biological and Gnosis enemies. Or Gate, which is HP divided by 4 damage on biological and Gnosis enemies. So I'm thinking that means it will remove a quarter of their hit points. Which could be useful, I suppose. I think, however, we'll go with... None of these are really all that appealing to me, but... I don't have enough points to learn anything else, so we'll set this. And we're going to save it here and call it a night. This will do it for part 8, so in part 9, we will finish off the cathedral ship. Take on that boss, we'll see what happens to Cherenkov. And then after that, we'll see what other surprises await, even though I already know what the surprises are. So until then, take care. Goodbye.